Howdy y'all, Mr. Kazi coming to you from beautiful Atascacita, Texas, and today we're going to have another homework helper, and we're going to talk about molar mass calculations, and this time we're going to talk about how to use molar mass to go from grams to moles, and then to use the mole concept to change from moles to particles. All right, you're going to need your periodic table. And you're going to need a calculator for this one. And I'm going to make a few assumptions. First, you're familiar with the periodic table. Second, that you understand the mole and the mole concept. And that you know molecules, formula units, and atoms. And that you're familiar with atomic mass. Now, if you're not uh, familiar with any of these ideas, go to Mr. Kazi's channel. Find my videos on these ideas and... Uh, Catch up. All right, the problem. Find the number of particles in 4.72 grams of magnesium chloride. We need to find the number of particles. Now, what you need to realize is that magnesium chloride is ionic. And because it's an ionic compound, then the particles that we're going to look for are formula units. Because that's the uh, smallest particle that we recognize for ionic compounds. Now, so what we're going to need to do is change grams to moles. And to do that, we'll use the molar mass. And then we'll take moles and change that to particles. And for that, we'll use uh, the molar Avogadro's number, which is 6.022 times 10 to the 23. Because remember, a mole is just like a dozen. It's a number. All right. So we're going to determine the molar mass of magnesium chloride. And then we're going to take and use 6.022 times 10 to the 23 to change it into particles. All right, let's get to the blackboard. First thing I want to do is find the molar mass of magnesium chloride. There is one magnesium and two chlorine. Go to my periodic table and voila, there's magnesium at 24.31 and there's chlorine at 35.45. And then let's plug and chug those. And we're going to get 95.21 grams of magnesium chloride per mole. Awesome. Next step is to change our grams to moles. And we do that by multiplying by molar mass. And make sure that you put molar mass in such a way that grams cancel out. Take it and plug and chug. And we'll get 0 0.0496 moles of magnesium chloride. And that'll have three sig figs. Next step is to change moles to particles. So let's take 0 0.0496 moles magnesium chloride and multiply it by the number of formula units in a mole. And the number of any particle in a mole is 6.022 times 10 to the 23. All right. And if you're having trouble with the mole idea, I've got a couple of videos on it. Go back and watch them. But that's really all a mole is. Make sure moles cancel out. Then plug and chug. And our answer should be 2.99 times 10 to the 22 formula units of magnesium chloride with three sig figs. All right, let's recap. You found the molar mass of magnesium chloride. You converted grams to moles. And you converted moles to particles. Not bad. If you have any questions, send an email to Mr. Kazi at mrkazi.com. And be sure to check out mrkazi'sworld.com. And most importantly, subscribe to my YouTube channel. Happy Ions, y'all.